Welcome to the channel. I'm Charlie. Today I got Nissan X Trail 2017 model. We'll see what happened inside because customer dropped last night and say engine management light on and no pickup look like to me it's in a limp mood. However, we'll see what happened inside. I'm going to start the car. I can hear now exhaust pressurized noise. I feeling it's looked like to something. See? Yeah, look like to me exhaust fully blocked. However, we'll see what's going on here again. Right. You can see engine warning light on amber and this side engine warning light on red that means something look like to me serious ah! i don't know <laughs> why people using like this car until get problem worst right I'm going to switch off the car. Right now, I'm going to ignition on and check with computer. Make sure switch off all electricals before you do the scan. Otherwise, going to end with battery drain. Right, I got the high speed scan report. We'll see what is that. Can communication faulty circuit something? And there is a three message under engine management. Uh, we'll see CVT. Don't know what's that. And there is a three faulty codes. That's a important one for the, this problem. All right. First one boost pressure circuit differential high or something I don't know P226322 again P0101022 airflow sensor also differential DPF and the turbo boost control P148EE yeah there is a Three faulty code under this problem. I'm going to take a photo for my reference and go into the special function, read data, all signals. We'll see. I'm going to, however, start the car first. Boost pressure over thousand look like to me yeah I feeling something not right in the engine bay however pressure load very high I'm going to exit exit from here because I need to check physically what's going on there because that sounds not good for me I'm going to start the car and visually going to check any boost leak because the first faulty code they talk about the boost pressure, second faulty code they talk about the air pressure, air mass flow sensor and the third faulty code they talk about the turbo boost charger because all three 
related to the sometime one problem could be some air boost leak. I am going to start the car and find out what's going on in engine bay. Start the car. Start for me please. I feeling too much engine pressure here. That's why they are engine making like a with a horrible noise. And I can see inside little bit oil mark there. See inside there is a oily. What I'm going to do? Okay, switch off. See the here. You can see. See the all that area cover with oil. That's mean somewhere look like to me boost leaking. I am not sure hundred uh, percent where it's come from. But I can see somewhere boost leak there. What I am going to do, I am going to remove that hose, this one, and I am going to do the smoke test and find out what's going on there first. Because I feel in this car has a somewhere boost leak. I am going to connect my smoke test machine. I can use the car battery but however I am prefer to use my own battery sometime if the car battery not strong enough it will go into kill the battery and I am going to it's on now. And also, I'll remove this horse and I'm going to inject this cone. Now, you can see, just start the smoke. See? Yeah, now it's smoking. Start, then I'm going to connect here. Right, and I'm going to leave it like that and have a look what's going on there. It's not take a much long, could be a couple of minutes. I can see somewhere smoke coming. That means definitely somewhere leak here. Yeah, that's why I see the oil around that area. This one you can see here exactly. Just on my fingers. See the it's coming from exactly this middle of this horse see the my fingers see it's come exactly behind this horse at the moment i'm going to switch off we know exactly what's the problem now right then i leave it that one that is the problem for the boost pressure right 
we know the problem this car came for an assessment now we know it's leaking from this turbo hose we need to replace that hose then after that I am going to suggest change this air mass flow sensor because it's before the hose I'm not feeling that one okay and also after that DPF pressure very high over thousand because of that we need to clean the DPF. I'm not sure is it possible to clean as should be or sometime I had to remove the DPF and clean. But however, at the moment I'm going to stop from here because this car came for a diagnostic. If some reason, if I do the job, I'll show you how am I going to do the job. At the moment, I'm going to stop from here. Thanks for watching. See you with the next video.